<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Wake up. Wake up. No thunderstorms, no tornadoes or anything to worry about today, but I'll tell you more in just a minute. Look who's still in the kitchen Let's get that thing out. on okay, me. Okay, let's hurry hey, up. You can't stay there long. it's good to be standing. That's all I can say. <laughs> I started last week in the kitchen. I'm going to stay over here. Are you cooking? Good morning. I'm no. Jamie Cooper. This is, what did you say? Are you cooking? No, this is, Joe will be cooking tomorrow, though, matter of fact. Hey, we got Ooh, Killer Bees is back in town tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Killer right. Bees, I got my ortho doc going to be up here. He's bringing a CEO with him, there. ortho sport. David, how's your back? Ah, it's great. I need to put a good word for yeah. you tomorrow. Yeah, I've been seeing Dr. Boyette, so there you go. Well, them guys got it going on over there. I tell you, they know getting what they're a, doing. Getting a new facility, Danny. They're breaking ground now on having a ribbon cutting, I guess, to get it cranking. Uh, I know right my across the coming. street from them over that way. <laughs> I'll be down there. And Zach, <laughs> are you still pulling for Bama after that beat down we got? Man. I'm 100%. Like I said, when I die, just bury me in Alabama stuff. That's where I can. I saw all everybody. Nick Saban was at the airport the other day. Maurice saw it on Facebook. The guy that owns some Car Wash Express here was delivering a car out there, and Saban was in there. Yeah, he was uh, at my friend. I work uh, with Levi, uh, Ken Randolph's daddy, and uh, he uh, was actually in town. and. He uh, signed autographs for the kids, had his pictures made out in the driveway with the kids, and it was real cool. So Kendall got a visit from him and Coach Key, offensive line coach. I right, appreciate y'all watching this morning. Big news going on down Lindsey Lane Sunday, Danny. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big uh -oh. news. Getting baptized. Woohoo. Huge. Man. About time, man. <laughs> Again. It's an awesome thing. I did a survey in my class the other day. I said, hey, y'all been baptized more than one. About everybody in there. Me, twice, two, three, four times. Yes, wow. yes. We got it going on, Lindsey Lane. Hey, speaking of Lindsey Lane, our men's conference is coming up on February 10th. First Baptist is going to be there. Joel Carlisle, Tim Anderson at Clements, Dusty. So it's like this year, $20, feed you, entertain you for three or four hours. It's a lot going on. Y'all need to be. We'll be telling you more about that, though, as we progress. Let's get it started. Pretty nice outside right now. Tomorrow, hurricane coming, anybody? Oh, stop. 51 degrees out there this morning. And don't forget, there's also some great prizes you can win at the men's conference as well. I believe we got a taser from last year. Yeah. We haven't used it on him yet. Gee, I'm slipping. 51 degrees, like I said, 0% chance of rain. So if there's any wet areas out there, just a little bit. It's going to get better. So enjoy today. High temperatures of 61 with your low around 52. Because of these warm temperatures, of course, whenever there's a chance for severe thunderstorms, also that tornado could be a possibility. I hate to say that word here, but everybody stay weather aware tomorrow as well as Sunday. Tomorrow, 65 for that high. And yes, 90% chance of rain. And then that clears out. Friday, absolutely gorgeous. 71 degrees, some sunshine. Saturday, rain could be moving on in. 65 for that high. And then Sunday, a chance for severe th thunderstorms and possibly even tornadoes as well. So mm -hmm. far, that's a little bit too soon to tell, but these warm temperatures and those storms could be pretty bad. So just everybody keep an eye on the weather. Let's also talk about Dixie Auto Parts. Until the end of the month, get those tune-ups, engine oil and filter, air filters, cleanups, all those push mowers and tillers. Give them a call. Free pickup and delivery. Hey, Can't I forgot be to mention, I was just in the hometown market kitchen. Their specials will be coming up in just a moment. Got to give a shout out this morning to Patsy Bass. Lamar. She has yeah. some surgery done over at the hospital wrist. in yeah. uh, Huntsville. Had to have a wrist. I sent Dusty a message. I said, hey, Joe won't know if I need any food. Pizza plate. I said, Dusty, y'all need any food? He said, well, all Patsy's class gave us a bunch of stuff. I said, well, we got some vinyl sausages. We tried to get shit out of up here. He said, keep I don't know how much y'all like to eat, though. Roy, want some questions right up your alley in a moment. I guarantee That's you right. Patsy is not eating But, those. you know, there's a major announcement to make this morning. I heard from three people this morning about this same thing. Uh, David guess, Turner guess who joined is on the way to book. Yeah, I had world. a friend request for third this morning. Happy <laughs> glory and Zach. Friend up. Friend up. I broke down yesterday and I Join got on Facebook. Join the world Facebook. of Facebook. Join the world of Facebook. Don't do Facebook. Well, I don't do Facebook. I'm afraid I'd say something I shouldn't That's say. That's me. I'm afraid I'd say something I didn't need to say. Don't Danny, worry. Glenn will take on care Facebook. of it. Yeah, I use it uh, really for the acting. He's got of, actors all over the world. people like keeping up with me that way and it's... It works. Um, I thought it was a sellout to start with, but uh, uh, it works. It works it Facebook. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, that computer thing. What did Bill Belichick call it? Face snap or snap tap? Brad just informed me we got some photos. Let's take share them right, right now. Hey, that's me on the left. 
Look at that. Right. Eddie Pruitt. Eddie Pruitt. You ain't bought a car from Eddie, you ain't bought one. Danny drives an Eddie Pruitt Ford. Yes, I do. It's my second one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm standing straight. Uh, yes, That's me on the left right. again at the glory in the middle, obviously. No kidding. Uh, Eddie. <laughs> yeah. What else we got, Bo? We was over there today. Coach, Coach Morris. Yeah. That's right. Bobby Morris. It was great to meet him. What's that and other don't forget Donnie Teeples. Oh, yeah. That guy, uh, he's from... Uh, Tony Teeples, is it Moulton or? Yeah, he from, knows a bunch of people from New Hope. Yeah, yeah nice haircut. <laughs> you, he said you can get there. Hey, we get over there. This is how much he watches the show. Bless him. Went over there Thursday after the show. He said, notice you're standing in the kitchen today. <laughs> I said, oh, hallelujah, man. brother, I'm still fine. <laughs> he said, well, man, when are you going to come back on Tuesdays? I said, Probably first of February. So, I mean, <laughs> this guy's on, man. Hey, you know, I promise you, I had folks you. at Dardmoor Ball Game last night said, "When are when are you? Are y'all gonna be on tomorrow?" I said, "We'll be on Wednesday and Thursday. We're on. Make well, sure this month. I'm coming back three days a week next week." Okay. Yeah, All right. Well, let's go to hey, Speaking of that, that, let's go to Zach with sports. Welcome to KFC. It's time for sports hey. with Bama Zach. Brought to you by Kentucky Fried Chicken, the best fried chicken in Athens and Limestone County. <laughs> Hey, if you hurt David, go see Roy in the Gate, Herbs and more. They got anything and everything that needs to make you feel better. So show up and see those guys. When's the last time you walked into there, Zach? Yeah, uh, about a, it's about <laughs> a month. his product so. gets low, he'll be better. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, I get special delivery, Jack. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I got, I know, con, I got contacts. Hey, what do you tell people are going to ask you what? <laughs> they, they were saying, are y'all going to be on tomorrow? I'm serious. Oh, I go into Walmart. I'm serious. Walmart is the place. I go in there. They said, does everybody ask? My daddy asked, asked me a guy the other day. was walking. We were walking at Walmart. I walked with him some when I'm off. And he said, who is this guy? I said, I don't know, but he watches the show, I reckon. He said, do you only talk about Alabama? I said, I mention Auburn every now and then. <laughs> Man, I'll try to be a little positive, Brad. Come on. Well, Jamie's but, going to make his first Walmart appearance here soon. So well, I'm telling you. I'm sure you I am not taking <laughs> I've been isolated. I ain't even been in the grocery store in five hey. weeks. I ain't been in Walmart in five we'll weeks. We'll be there three hours. I hey. we missed church one Sunday. Yeah. Hey, this was yeah. some big news that happened in Tuscaloosa. Nobody knew about this. I mean, we had Cecil Hurt last week, and he, n n nothing was ever said. But Bill Battle went ahead and retired. He said, I'm going to do it for four years. He did it four years, and now. Greg Byrne is going to be the new AD at Alabama coming from Arizona, and everybody is just fired up. I've heard uh, all kind of people on the radio talking. They said this is a big-time hire for Alabama. And uh, speaking of ADs, it looks like Tennessee is going to bring one back home. Looks like Phil Fulmer. Is that true? And it's getting very close to looks like Phil contender. Fulmer will be the next AD at the yeah. University of Tennessee. I can't believe it. So right. they said it could be announced here next month or so. Uh, Alabama promoted. They'll do anything to win up there. Alabama promoted <laughs> yeah, yeah. analyst Mike Loxley, former Maryland offense coordinator and uh, New Mexico State head coach, to uh, offensive position. He'll take Mario Cristobal's spot, who went to Oregon as co OC. And, and Oregon's having a bunch of problems going on with uh, their workouts. They put three in the hospital already because apparently they're working them kids a little bit harder than the last coach did. <laughs> Uh, in the, 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 the <laughs> championships this weekend, we'll have the Packers That's and the Falcons. That's going to be an awesome football the, the last game at yeah, the Georgia yeah. Dome. Well, officially yeah, the last game. So oh, after wow, that, the they'll be game. tearing it down. And the Steelers will be playing the Patriots. My Cowboys, no defense. You lose the ball game. Game. You have to play Packers. defense. So I, I lost two. I was for the Packers. Yeah. So yeah. the final the Packers. four, yeah, it was, like man. I said, you got uh, Matty Ice, you got Aaron Rodgers, uh, Brady, and Roethlisberger. You got four very good quarterbacks going in. Cowboys delay the talk of Romo's future. Everybody he's pretty out, much he's knows out of here. he's out of here. Mm -hmm. He's going somewhere else. I he's always wish him hurt. well. One of my favorites. And. In professional wrestling, uh, Jimmy Superfice Snuka died at 73, and WWE's taking a lot of heat because he was uh, about to be uh, convicted of murder charges from 30-something years ago, but they said he wasn't able to go through trial, and WWE had a big tribute to him Monday night, and they're getting a lot of flack over that for... That gets amazing how much guy. sports you can keep up with. So, <laughs> I could it's go a little bit more, but y'all watch that. Dallas it's all about game. you, James. Yeah. That has oh, yeah. to be one of the best NFL games. Yeah. 
I know you didn't that watch it. But anyway, that was good. Luke, the winner placed to go to the Super Bowl suite. Those Played kickers. in Dallas. That yeah, was a good game. Three field goals over 50 yards kicked in the last minute and 38 seconds. But that, so that catch, that 30 yard oh, catch was yeah, unbelievable. Was, unbelievable. I think the play before that to me was though, when they sacked him and he yeah. hung on to the ball. Yeah. The ball. He yeah. didn't drop it. And he immediately jumped up and called timeout. But know. I'm for the foul. I don't smart. care what anybody says. I'm for the foul. I ain't decided. This might be doing I don't care. Right. <laughs> this is the lead story of USA Today this morning. In Trump Nation, healing is overrated. Who said this? In defeat, defiance. In victory, I got to figure out how to pronounce it. In victory, <laughs> magnanimity. Magnanimity. Like you know what Magnum means? Church, yeah, so Church, I was, Church, Church, Church Hill. Church Hill. Church Hill. Yeah, Church Hill. That's, that's right. That's thinking. He did yeah, say yeah. that. Yeah. And then right under it, they got this. Happy New Year to all, including my many enemies and those who have fought me and lost so badly they just don't know how to do. Donald J. Trump. Yeah. Yeah. Magnum means uh, you're generous in your forgiving of somebody and you let them uh, have their defeat without rubbing it in, basically. That ain't, something that ain't the Democrats, what they saying? Say, something something the Democrats, the Democrats yeah. ain't getting. I need to learn how to do that. They don't even know how to pronounce that word either. <laughs> <laughs> what is it up to now? 40 something? 47, there going I think. That just means more inaugural stuff for me and you. Jane. That's right. <laughs> more room for us. Let's take a break. Brought to you by Hometown Market with uh -huh. their weekly specials coming out. We'll be right back. Y'all, hang on. <laughs> Oh, Jamie. Wrong answer. Oh. Right answer. Joseph's not with us. They had to go to work early this year. Yeah, going early. Right. What's wrong right. with that? We got a full house coming up tomorrow, boys. Killer bees back in town. <laughs> Comedy club, I think, has been delayed the opening. Delayed he's the opening, but week. he's still going to be with us. All right. Eugene uh, Gene Cernan died, the yeah. astronaut. Last guy to walk on the moon. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many... Living moonwalkers are remaining. Four. None. Two. Two. One. No, no, he was the last one to walk. I'm it sorry. It says here six. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Six. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Six. But here's a real question. Let me get a little six all now. now we know. He's, uh, Apollo 17 set several human space flight records. See, Joseph should be here, Doug. He knows he all about it. He would figure this. it all out. Yeah. How long did he stay on the moon? 31 minutes. No idea. 90 days. Ooh, I'd say. On the moon, actually. 22 hours and 6 minutes. On wow. The day. Um, like outside samples, standing on the, the moon? What is the weight of the samples they brought back? The most ever. <sighs> 15 pounds. Close. 249 pounds. I'm surprised they found it. Yeah, Up there, though, it was only about lift off. Five, 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 five. Yeah, yeah. that had much ground. All right, yeah. Jeff Sessions <laughs> is almost a certain dude. They landed be. harder, though. I hope, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Sessions is almost a certainty to be uh, going to get the uh, turning jump. They can't yeah. stop it. Go, right. Jeff, go. They, yeah, they can't stop it. That's right. Okay, good. Put Alabama on the How back. many people has Governor Bentley interviewed to replace him? They can't replace him until he officially takes the job. One. Fifteen. I was going to say, no, Bentley, too. <laughs> yeah, one, I'd say two. one. <laughs> Fifteen. At least two, so yeah. Okay, uh, three. Twenty. Twenty. To be oh, wow. exact. Okay. Wow. And even All then. Right. He serves out the remaining of the term, and then they have a special election in 2018. Yeah. Oh, so hmm. no guarantee. If you hmm. No guarantee. Mm -hmm. huh. Name two Democrats that say they're going to run for governor in 2018. Charles Barkley. Democrat? Uh, in Alabama. <clears throat> That's why I was at Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. In Alabama. I don't well, know. know a Democrat. Exactly. Uh, That's uh, the uh, point. Yeah. You mean there are Democrats <laughs> left in Alabama? Sue Bell Cobb, who once held the uh, position of Alabama Supreme Court, in 2000, she was, had the last statewide office held by Democrats. And he oh. runs every year. Roy Moore. <laughs> Parker, <laughs> Parker Griffin. Oh, he's Griffin. Griffin. Oh, yeah. Parker. Who? Oh, he's running as a Democrat. Oh. He don't know what he is. I mean, come on. <laughs> I know what he is. Rich. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Talk about sales back from the brink, right up your alley, Mr. I'll ensure any home that's got a roof on it. No, 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 I ain't said that on Facebook. Hey, why are you not doing Facebook Live this morning? He doesn't know how he did it. Really, I, just, I, just, I just got on it yesterday. I'm you still learning. Live? I don't want to do it live. <laughs> don't be okay, in, Tony. Let's Brown. try. No, no. In Limestone County, home sales climbed at an even faster rate than they did back in 07 and 08. How many homes were sold in 2016 in Limestone County? Oh, 10,000. No, it wasn't that many. It ain't Thank that good. I'm going to say 1,000. 5,000. Like 2,050. 700. 2,500. 1,408. You doing Facebook Live, Gloria? Here's the unfortunate. Hey, our I house am. is about to be for sale through Marmac Realty coming up here in another month, probably about February. I got everything for sale, especially a big house. You looking for a 10,000 square foot house? Ain't that big. <laughs> Where is that? Close. Anyway, what was the medium price of a house sold in Limestone County? We might be staying there. 122,000. 125,000. Yeah. 150,000. I bet he's got it. 171,700. I said 171,700. Wait till I do something. Eat good. Okay, <laughs> say bye. Decatur, Morgan County was up too. <laughs> big time up. Morgan. So that tells you everything's coming back. Well, yes, it is. What yeah. is the yeah. average yeah. price of a yeah, house is. on a creek? A <laughs> <laughs> house, about $150,000. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Custom built. That's right. Custom yeah. built. Yeah. 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 Call and Roy, it. you can do it. Call yeah. it. Oh, yeah, we can do it. We can build it. We can sell the you a lot. Talladega <laughs> Band, a tornado, is <laughs> going to play. By, you know, Black College in uh, Talladega. Is going to play at Trump. They needed $75,000. 600000 what is, since they came on Bill O'Reilly's show, what is the latest donation? 600000 Zach, I'll let you have it. $580,000. That's pretty doggone close. <laughs> That's how much money wow. they raised. Are we Bill right. O'Reilly. All right, here we go. Back to Trump. Obama had an 80% approval rating eight years ago before we knew what he was really like. <laughs> but when he got sworn in, what's Trump's rating? It's 41%. Like 40% right answer, but here's the real question. What was George W. Bush's rating at the time? 55. 45. 72. What was his daddy's rating? 42. Probably high. 82. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Huh. 82. Y'all believe that? <laughs> 82. Right, here we go. Who said this? This Martin Luther King Day. When men no better than Klansmen dress in suits are being sworn into office, we cannot be silent. Hmm. Uh, oh, I, I said, who was she with? Make it easier on huh? We don't know. Black Lives Matter. Uh, Co-founders matter. All matter. lives oh, should oh, matter. Oh, yeah, I think, all yeah, exactly. I think all lives matter. The crowd in Brooklyn. Hey, Jamie, you got 14 live Facebook live viewers right now. You're breaking eight. a record. Where's the rest of my 10,000? You had 16. You had 16. Now three's dropped off. They're asleep. All right. You know they have a wax museum of all the presidents and first ladies in it. Y'all ever been there? Never have. No, sir. No, anyway, no. closed because of lack of people going. So they just auctioned off the wax figures. Whose wax figure was number one at 8,500 in an auction Saturday? Abraham Lincoln. What, did you see the picture? No. Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> no, I just thought he was going to answer. Yeah. What did Barack Obama's go for? $20. $20. He still had $20. $2,000. Uh, Hillary overpaid. Clinton's went for $675. They overpaid for that, too. Yeah. And she had a white pantsuit on. Good morning, Susan. Who? Susan. <laughs> we got everybody saying hi to See you ladies. Sunday, Susan. <laughs> Say hi to everybody, Jamie. I ain't got time to talk to people. I'm working on TV. <laughs> World Wide Web. USA Today this morning. Good what night. is the average household credit card debt in the United States? Mm, 20,000. Excluding the Coopers. 14 grand. We're 20, above 000. average. 20,000? Yep. Close. 8,000. 16,061 uh, okay. cents. Here's one nobody up on this show will know. Uh oh. Okay. No nobody. Yeah, really. No. What is the name of Willie Nelson's marijuana 
uh, <laughs> brand. He has his Why own brand? Uh, his, his brand? <laughs> yeah, his brand. He, he has got a his brand own brand. Sale. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Come on. I didn't know that. Now all of a sudden everybody's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said we wouldn't know, so you were <laughs> right. <laughs> we know, we know. Willie's Reserve. Uh, I, I was going to say, wow, Willie. Don't yeah. I said it was a pot smoker. <laughs> no, brand. you didn't know he had his own wow. yeah, brand. Yeah. I know he's got his own XM radio show, but didn't know it was. Loretta own. Lynn tried yeah. smoking it at what age for the first time? 16. 31. 30, come on, Brad. 84. <laughs> no way. Four years old? No way. 84. Way behind time. Yeah. Wow. Right, here we go. Wow. Roy, right up your app. All right. Survey done right, right. on people with food stamps. What is the number one item in the shopping carts of families on food stamps? Alcohol. Uh -huh. They can't buy alcohol. Food. Can't buy not alcohol legally, they can. Soda. Soft, soda. soda. Soft drinks. Soft drinks yeah. is the correct yeah. answer. I probably messed you up they with that. Yeah. should have done the alcohol. <laughs> What's <laughs> that? Uh, Cigarettes. No, no you can't buy that either. Bread. Lunch meat. <laughs> Final sausages. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Junk food, sweetened beverage, dessert, and salty <laughs> snacks and candy. And we wonder why we're diabetic. That's right. Oh, mm -hmm. wonder why we're Which I'm going to talk about that today. All right. Who are the, <clears throat> quote, slants, S-L-A-N-T-S? Who are the slants? Oh, wow. Ooh, I'm afraid to answer that. I need to get out more. People don't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> slants. The slants are a member of an Asian-American band. They're right there. They are right there. Oh, wow. Hmm. They have been try fighting the First Amendment with the Supreme Court is going, is, is going to rule I was thinking that, right? about them. They can't use that name right well, now because it's saying, offensive to Asians because they're saying oh, the eyes. eyes. They're ah. saying we want, this has a major impact on what football team, the Supreme Court ruling? Washington, Washington Redskins. Washington Redskins because of the offensive name. And what happened to freedom of speech? That's exactly what the point is. <laughs> Deteriorating. <Yeah. laughs> that words of wisdom. All right. If you judge people, you have no time to love them. What? I Give saw that, that on Facebook this morning. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> if you judge people, you have no time to love them. Oh, good one. Okay. Hey, y'all yeah, know what the business that. conference is going to be about this year? What? I do know, but I... Jesus? Yeah, well, that's got, <laughs> got a little something to do with it. It's so, got all to do with it. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. That's good. I'm just that's what he did. Huh? Yeah, forgot. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I'm just what is... Uh, what is it? <laughs> most common password in the world. Password. 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 One, two, one, two, three, oh, four. like it. Number what? Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six. Yeah. Is that yours? Uh, yeah. Yeah, what was yeah. number two? The most popular password. Nine, six, nine, A, B, C, D. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, okay. eight, nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. And number four came in at one, 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 one. Mm. Password came in next. Password. Followed by six, 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 six. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah, who'd want to look? I don't want that one. Only yeah. one person. I'd be scared. Probably the person who is set right now will know the next answer to the last question. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I am. I didn't wear anything to put my mic up. What is the newest... <laughs> I'm not. I'm talking... What is the fire. newest morning buzz drink? I hear you, buddy. The newest morning the newest. buzz drink. Sundrop. 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 Kickstart. It's a coffee. Oh, it's a coffee. Mama Jack Daniels coffee? <laughs> no. <laughs> Abby, you shouldn't know that. Oh. That is the correct answer. <laughs> Who on this set used to work for Jack Daniels? Well, I worked uh, amongst them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Daniels has now got a non-alcoholic whiskey-flavored coffee. Wow. Someone says oh, Red Bull. Goodness. Nope, wasn't Red Bull. I don't even like wow. the taste of whiskey in normal conditions. Mm. I could drink it if I had to. But oh. I, yeah. I, don't drink, I have I don't to try this. it before I have any comment. I'll thank you for getting up once more. We'll come back and let Roy tell you how to get in your best shape of your life for this new year. Y'all hang on. Bye. Bye. Bye.
morning, everyone. 51 degrees out there this morning. Cloudy skies, but you know what? No rain to worry about today. Zero percent chance of rain today, but tomorrow's the big day. I'll tell you more about that in just a moment. Right now, though, high temperatures today around 61 degrees, so just enjoy today. Get all those errands run that you need to be outside doing, and tomorrow we do have the threat of a tornado. Severe thunderstorms in the forecast well, with the warm... I know. With the warm temperatures, though, I ain't one of them, but that's not not good. So keep an eye on the weather. Also, Friday, Saturday, beautiful, and then Sunday, bad temperatures could pop hey, up again. Put me on live stream again. All right, hold on. Mandy, you're becoming a pain. I got to tell a couple <laughs> stories before we get to Roy. Hang on. Uh, let's see. How do you do this? Okay. Do, 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 do. Fox, do you have Oh, no. Uh, well, okay. Okay, here. Anyway. Go. Nope. Keep going. I'll tell you one. <laughs> Gotta figure out how I did it. I was gonna tell you about what happened to me at rehab. First time your brother had this done. I think everybody I know. I'm sitting in rehab and I got got Kate over there at Drager. We're doing a fabulous job since I had that knee replacement. But my other regular guy was out. She said, "Okay, today we're gonna put you up on the table. And then we're gonna tie your knee back, your leg back." So she gets one of them rubber bands, gets there and ties it back. She says, "Is that you feeling anything?" I said, "No, make it a little tighter." <laughs> Wrong thing to say. Oh no. <laughs> They tied my knee back. She said, okay, I'm going to put this timer on 10 minutes. And walk away. 10 minutes. So I'm up on that table. <laughs> I'm up on that table, and they got my knee back. After a couple minutes, you know, I'm going, oh, it's getting a little uncomfortable. It gets down to about six minutes to go. I done got for real uncomfortable. <laughs> and I'm looking around that room, and she's going, oh. it gets down about three minutes ago, man. I can't. I'm about to die. <laughs> Pain I made it. Pain Pain I, that's the toughest thing I've ever had to do in my life. Uh, I want to go back and talk about something up while he's watching on live stream. My buddy Mark Moody. The Cater Morgan County sales are going through the roof because Marmac just had their best year ever, ever. selling houses. Ever. And they're about to have the biggest house they've ever had for sale here in about another month in Athens for sale. <laughs> Less than a month. Marmac. But right now, let's talk about Roy. Hey, if you want to buy some creek front <laughs> property, <laughs> I've got 3,000 feet on one of the prettiest creeks in Tennessee. There you I'm go. I'm telling you. You it, ain't bought it yet. <laughs> I'll close on it. I've got everything lined up, but it's, it's going to be, uh, listen, I've showed it, I've already shown it to five people, and every single one of them want a lot. And it's so beautiful if you ever Money get up there. front. Uh, yeah, that's right. But you can canoe it, you can fish it. It's just, in, uh, I wade fish. I don't get in boats, but I love to wade fish. And it's so many uh, smallmouth. Do you know they even stock that creek with trout? Really? Every year they, tr really? they stock it with trout. So you can have to one of these, fish. When is this amazing once, an once in a lifetime opportunity <laughs> for riverfront property, creek front property for sale? Before it's it already runs for out. sale. Listen, okay. we, oh, we right. are actually putting it up for sale. And we'll, uh, I've already got the contract. We'll close the, probably the second week in February. So, absolutely. And I'm not kidding. Buy now, today. Call me. Yeah, I've seen it. It's, it's you been beautiful. there? Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. When'd you go? I went with him uh, when we went to check it out. He had to go. Yeah. He's I went with him when we went to check it out. My land over there, so. oh, gee, two weeks ago? Yeah. So, you went, oh, you made it. Yeah. If you can't come see David, he can come see you. Exactly. As a matter of fact, <laughs> wait, can you wait your turn? Just wait, wait for your interview. Hey, Donnie. <laughs> Hey, Facebook King. Can you wait a little bit? Back to you, Roy. Let's talk about what you do for a living. Well, what is the Southern River River property? What does Jesus say in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32? I ain't got that far. He says, You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Listen, I'm going to ask you come to Herbs and More. One of the things I guarantee you're going to have that's going to happen to you is you're going to hear the truth. On every label, on every product we make, it says, In God we trust. You got to be careful, legal? folks. So many people, yes. that's, it is, as long as it's on the money. Uh, there's so many people right now don't understand. You're putting your faith in man instead of in God a lot of times when you're sick and you go to the medical profession and the doctors. It, you know, you got to decide are you going to do it man's way using his concoctions or God's way using his creations? When you come to see us at Herbs and More, let's say you're diabetic. And this is something you need to understand. Diabetes. Type 2 diabetes I'm talking about, number one, is about 98% preventable. 
Now Ooh. think about that. This is a disease that's absolutely epidemic in America, and it's preventable. Now, you got to be willing to do what you're supposed to do, but if you come by Herbs and More, we'll lay it out for you exactly what you need to do and what supplements you need to take. And I can tell you this, 98% of you type 2 diabetics can be off of all your medications in six months flat. I'm not kidding you. Now, I'm not talking about type 1 diabetes. That's a whole different class of disease. I'm talking about type 2. That's adult onset diabetes. Now. So how do you do that? We will explain it. Let's talk to you. If you've got heart disease, if you've got high blood pressure, if you've got you know, any kind of tachycardia, irregular heartbeat, maybe you've been diagnosed with a blockage and you've even had bypass surgeries, did you know that 98% of all heart disease, according to Dr. Matthias Rath, is 100% preventable? Now, I know you haven't been taught that. Your medical doctor's not telling you that. They're telling you that it's genetic and that it just happens and they tell you it's because of your diet and all that, and maybe to some degree it is, but listen, it's preventable. Dr. Matthias Rath wrote the book, Why Animals Don't Get Heart Attacks, But People Do. We've got his formula. We can teach you how to do it. It is possible that that happens. Now, we also want to talk to you about things, any kind of disorder. You've got fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, uh, maybe you just need to relax. We've got some incredible things to help you relax, including sauna. We got the infrared sauna. We got the massage therapist. We're going to help you have the best year you've ever had in 2017 if you'll come see us. And remember, the most important supplement anybody ever gets on right from the start is the MSM Plus C. It is absolutely being shipped all over the United States and now in 11 other countries. And when you get on it and you figure it out about three weeks, you'll know why that's happening. So I'm going to encourage you to come by Herbs and More. Let us give you the truth. Now, sometimes it's hard to do some of the things we ask you to do. Like if you're diabetic, you got to change what you eat. I mean, the average American in 1900 ate five pounds of sugar a year, and there was absolutely no type 2 diabetes. By the year 2000, it's way over 150 pounds of sugar what? a year per person. Wow. And we wonder why we're diabetic. Well, one soft drink, wow. if it's a 16 ounce, basically has 16 teaspoons of sugar in it. You know, when you drink that sweet tea, it's almost one teaspoon of sugar per, as a guy yesterday per telling me it, per uh, ounce. ounce, yeah. Uh, he was telling me yesterday, he says they make uh, sweet tea in 55 gallon vats at this restaurant. I won't name the restaurant they work at. Who is? He said, <laughs> <laughs> he said, the first thing they told me is you've got to put a four pound bag of sugar in that to make five gallons <laughs> of tea. Now you got to think about this, folks. If you eat that much sugar, shocking your system, really hampering your immune system, really shutting it down for a short period of time, you're asking for things like diabetes and fibromyalgia, and chronic all the fatigue, and yeast and infections. No, there's so much fun in really? eating healthy. Because what? You feel better, you live longer, you don't have near as many aches and pains, you don't catch the colds and flus that everybody catches because you've changed what you're putting in your body. By the way, that old saying, you are what you eat, True. you better believe it. it how, long, how long have you had MSM, Roy? Oh my goodness, we're uh, 19 years now. 19 years, a, and that is his number right one product, and it has helped so many people. Absolutely. Processed foods. I read a thing the other day that said processed foods are the one thing you never want to buy. Do not Holy consume. Smoke. Uh, uh, no kidding, y'all. This is uh, what a, uh, a uh, uh, what do they call them? A more, uh, guy that runs a mortician place. What do they call them? Oh yeah. The, you don't have to get embalmed anymore. No, you don't. <laughs> Your body will stay just like it is for a week. Yeah, they used to. Now. I talked to one. That's the truth. You, That's they true. used to have to get to you within just minutes from the time you passed away or you started changing colors and looking bad and smelling, smelling bad. Smelling bad. They said, now, well, give us five days, we'll be all right, we'll get to you. It's all the preservatives in our bodies. Uh, we're eating so much preserved food, we are pickled. We have Vienna sausages. <laughs> and not in a good way. We show every day. Huh? And by the way, you read the preservatives in there. Yeah. Yeah. These are at least last four or five years. I will. Yeah. There's a reason. <laughs> All right, go by and visit Roy down at Herbs and Morrissey, Abby, Molly, the whole bunch. Oh. Gwen's still working? Gwen is. Occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll get the truth, folks. You will get oh. the truth. Oh, by the way, be, uh, be the shots, the, the B12 B12 shots. B12 shots. B12 oh, my shots. goodness, y'all just don't. If you need energy, if you want to lose some weight, come by and get the B12 shots. I need to start shots. taking mine again since I've had my little uh, knee replacement. Knee replacement. 
Uh, Good morning, Chris. Really Good morning, everyone watching on Facebook so Live. About now, y'all, hang on. <laughs> Dry heaving. <laughs> and now, Mr. Dry Heave himself up there, the only man ever to throw up before he came on the program. <clears throat> Mr. Now David Turner. What, a year at least? Yeah, two. Country uh, Financial. I think it's working on two years Whatever. now. Two years? Number one I think. insurance wow. agent in this part of the country. With or it might be one year. Country Is it one Financial, year? Okay. Mr. David Turner. What's up, David? How are y'all doing? So you, so you insured a lot of creek property these days. <laughs> yeah, I went with Roy, and we, I, uh, matter of fact, when I wrote Roy's first cabin, his next door neighbor, uh, he, he called me one day. He was already a client. He said he wanted to add a cabin, and I recognized the oh. address. I was like, "Do you know Roy? Where's just there?" He said, "Man, yeah, he's my neighbor, my neighbor." And I, so when we went out to check out yeah. this other property, we also went and checked out his new cabin he's building. Yeah. Met another one of his uh, neighbors, and we've been working with him. And uh, so, yeah, it's it's a very beautiful place. So, if customers can't come to you, you go. Oh yeah, I go. I go to every. I'll go everywhere. Good. I mean, it doesn't matter if you live in Tennessee. You live in Alabama. It don't matter. <laughs> if I, I got a Tennessee Alabama license, you need something. Call us. We'll go. We'll come see you. So when you, that's not just a slogan. You say if you can't come to me, I will come to you. Oh yes, sir. Uh, last three so. people I went to see uh, called and said they saw uh, saw me on this this show. They've been watching a lot. So you begin to understand how it works. Well, I, I really uh, have found out that there's more people that watch this than I actually thought. <laughs> they uh, did no, not. I'm playing. But yeah, they. Uh, I, one person was over in Huntsville. I you know, went over and saw him, and I'm be going to see him again uh, as soon as we can get together. Is there anything Thank new you. we need to know for 2017 with Country Financial? Yes, sir. Uh, our, Slogan is stay green in 2017, and then, you know that's what? The thing it, you brought in. No, nah, staying on. green is just you know doing things to recycle things like that. You know, but now uh, we are so we are doing two things here. Right. Uh, we got to refer a friend. We got a contest going on right now. If you call in and refer a friend to us, you know, make sure you give us you know my customer service rep Melanie, give her your name, uh, phone number. You will be in for a drawing for a tropical vacation package worth two thousand dollars, the destination of your choice. <laughs> now, actually, it's a little. You'd be going somewhere else, but there's, there's all kinds of different places you can choose from. But it's a uh, it's two thousand dollar package. That's if you refer a friend. Now, I'm also doing my own thing, to where if you refer someone, you call in, and we get uh, we will be sending you a free nice. movie ticket. You know, it's thirteen dollar value to, uh, movie ticket, movie for any movie you want. So uh, country sends it directly to you. All you do is just call in. Let's say you called in and say, hey, I'm referring well, whoever. You know, do we I just, get that on Roy? Roy and all the yeah, Well, no, we're just, Abby. yeah. Oh, okay. Because of me. Yeah, you're yeah, starting that. Oh, because okay. of me, you met Roy. Well, that was a different me, promotion. Well, street. I could send y'all a couple of tickets. <laughs> no, so, yeah. no, yeah. no. Okay. So, yeah. So we're in. You probably wouldn't go see the movie, but, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, we, if you refer a friend, uh, call us. We'll give the name, address, phone number, and then we will mail you a movie ticket. All right. So just refer someone, you get a free movie ticket. So that's one thing we're doing. And then uh, you know, just other stuff is just we want to earn your business. You know, if we want to review your coverage, we want to try to help you with your life, your financials, whatever you need. Long call us. Long-term insurance. Yeah, long-term care, farms. You got a farm? You know a friend that's got a farm? Call me. We'll go out there. I'm, I'm finding that most of these farms I'm riding, they're not covered pr properly. They're half their stuff they think is covered is not. not covered. So, you know, the outbuildings especially. So just, you know, let us give you a uh, go uh, work with you. you know. So you go we'll review you everything. You walk their property. Yeah, we will. Uh, well, actually, the, the, the one I went to Marshall County, I mean, it was 200 acres. And he had like uh, five brand new outbuildings that were. Probably four years old. Each one of them was about thirty thousand, forty thousand uh, dollar buildings. He thought they were insured. They well, weren't. they weren't. No, and he was paying probably five thousand dollars to one particular company, and he was not happy. So by the time we got done, everything. Really? Yeah, he was not happy so at all. So people think they're insured, but they may not be. Right. That's why you want to review your coverage because in certain peril codes too. I mean, sometimes you think you've got something covered where it's not. You know, and certain paracodes will cover certain things, and then another paracode won't. So you might think, oh yeah, uh, you know, you have a 
electrical strike. You know, knocks out all your computers, your TVs, and you're thinking that's covered. Well, there's certain para codes that uh, houses have that that's not covered. Oh. And, you know, people really? need to understand what's covered and what's not. So, I mean, that's, that's the whole point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go, right there. Somebody using 666 as a password. Gosh, couldn't find out if had a good year last year. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, uh, you know, want to, uh, you know, thank everybody again for, you know, your business and uh, letting us earn your business. Well, and it's just not, keep you do a great job, too, at what you do. you need to come see Well, I love what I do. I, I, I really like chicken. dealing with people, so. There you go. David We're Turner right behind Zaxby's. We're trying to do the best we can. Yeah. And thanks for y'all too. I mean, you know, you did have to work on me for about six months. Sure. But <laughs> See, and if you're out there and you want to advertise, I need, I think start working on some old friends. Yes, uh, yeah. One love hearing Zeke. Yeah. You need to work on him because he needs to. If you need a hearing aid what? or Zeke's have a, a problem, guy. you need to go see One Love Hearing. Wait till we get him. Yeah. See exactly. <laughs> All right, David, thanks and, for doing such a good job. Well, one thing, too, I want to yeah. shout out for Roy. Herbs and more. I, you, I, go, I went and got those B12, vitamin Shots. B12 shots, yeah. And that MSN, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever that I stuff is, day, yeah. that stuff is outstanding. <laughs> I haven't been sick since. Really? Yeah, I got sick, went up there and, and asked him, you got anything that I can knock this out? He, I started taking that stuff. I've given it to my boys. I've given it to like five other people. Terminator. Oh, yeah. Maybe it, you're just working for everybody. I try. <laughs> I mean, if it's something good now. You know, how much energy he has? Yeah. This would be good to go. Exactly. All right. Thank you, David. We'll take a break. Come back with Danny in just a second. Danny's up Y'all hang on. Nobody cares. Care about Danny Vincent, our number one superstar <laughs> movie star. Yes, he is. We appreciate you going to the breakfast with us the other, the men's breakfast down at the Warrior Tractor we had. A little well, Sunday yeah. on Saturday we've morning, got, um, I enjoyed it uh, a lot. I enjoyed it so much. I've got to work a movie Saturday, but the call time is in Athens at 7. So really? I'm, I'm coming for an hour at the. At the uh, you at do? The, you got a call time right. in Athens for a movie? Yeah, yeah. For, for it's uh, Joseph's movie. Oh, okay. Joseph's movie. Yeah. yeah. Movie. yeah. For those of you who so don't know. So now they're calling Joseph's movie. Joseph's it's, uh, movie. It's called uh, He Got Away. And it's a really, really good for a short film. It's good. Short films always have to have what we call a reveal of uh, something you don't see. Did he write from. this? Yeah. Yeah. Boy, That's good. He's, he, he don't have enough irons in the fire. Is it a short? I mean, when you say short, short what do you film? mean? Eight short minutes. film is uh, like, uh, I think it's probably going to be about 10 minutes long, probably uh, oh. this one. Um, but like the Three Stooges are short films. Oh. That's that's the short category. And uh, uh, as long as it's got a start, a middle, and an end, it's a movie, you know. See, I, was, I had one, too. I haven't written it yet, but the name of it's Worse and Worser. Worse and like Worser. Like Dumb and Dumber, but yeah. Worse and Worser. Yeah. You need to get with Joseph and do that. Yeah. It's, it's, Can he write? Yes. Well, he's, he's written eight nice pages. I know that. <laughs> uh, uh, for Is it this just y'all two in it? No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not in it. I don't. I don't I, I'm, this is for students. This is oh, for, okay. Yeah. Just for students. And, How's the classes going? Uh, going real good. Going very good. I've got... Uh, it's it's almost like you, you just you let them out of the the nest and let them fly and watch out because they're gonna like I say Joseph's already been in in a movie that's number one at the box office now he wasn't a principal in it but yeah. it took me seven years to do that <laughs> so now, of course it's the luck of the draw but to, it's um, it, I used to tell them that the wheel turns slow and it doesn't turn slow anymore not if you don't want it to can anyone be an actor. Well, uh, not no. really, no. I mean, anyone can try, and we all want to be. But you know? people that want to be an actor, what do they need to do? Get in touch with you, and then you have a consultation with them? Or yeah, what? we can talk about it. I'll let them know exactly um, how, what they're in, in for uh, to, to do it and to do it successfully. Here's what's going to happen. And uh, a lot of folks are at, uh, up for it. A lot of folks don't see that coming. They just think that you go and, and they pick you or whatever, and they don't realize the work involved and the driving and the... The, um, managing your time sometimes that's one of the harder things to do now I've been 20 almost 22 years at it now it's uh, it's juggling jobs so that one doesn't trip over the other and you want you don't want to miss anything so what do you do during the downtime though you get bored I like to rest because I don't get a lot uh -huh. uh, with this with the teaching and the and the driving and the auditioning and the, then the work because we put in a 14-hour day on set, and that's you know that's hard and long even for somebody not my age. But it's uh, um, a oh yeah, time. you're getting ancient. Oh, I'm an antique. 
This yeah. is an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ancient, he's getting old. Yeah, I know that, but we only spend an hour. He's got 14 hours a day to spend. <laughs> well, like, it's, not like it's, it's not like it's digging a ditch. It's a lot of lazy around. <laughs> That's what I was, I was telling students the other day. I love movies that are hat movies that I get to wear a hat because yeah. during the downtime I can go to the dressing room and take a nap and nobody cares. The makeup and hair people don't, don't care about my hair being missed. That's that pretty lazy. Me. That's lazy. I shouldn't say that. But. Huh? That'd kill me. Yeah. Hey, well, uh, you'll be back tomorrow. Yes, sir. Yes. I want to go out in a couple of minutes. We had so many people ask about this little girl last week. Amy Sunshine was on the program. You know, she's oh, yeah. Very popular. What a delight. Amazing. I think Joseph's stalking her. You know, she's, you know, she's got so many videos out there. Yeah, she does. You know, she's taking out all the videos. Of the last summer. We're going to go out with that right now. We'll be back tomorrow. See y'all. Bye-bye.